and laughs in all that I create. If you're a seamstress or a quilter, you know how hard it is to throw away tiny scraps. I'm going to show you how to reuse these little pieces to create gorgeous new textiles. For this project, we'll be using Sulky Ultra Solvi. It's a clear film that dissolves completely in water. There are a few different brands of water-soluble stabilizer as well as several types of Solvi, but I'm using Ultra Solvi because of its thickness as well as its adhesive properties, which I'll talk about more later. I've included an affiliate link in the video description so you can see exactly which product it is. However, you may be able to use a coupon at your local craft store and save a bit of money. Start saving the little strips of fabric that are left over when you straighten the edge of your fabric cuts. I also like to save the extra fabric when I trim my seam allowances. I'm going to show you a few different techniques so you can choose the one that works best for your project. First we'll try the pocket method. Cut a piece of Ultra Solvi that's the same size as your backing fabric. Lay it on top of the fabric and pin. Sew around three sides with a quarter inch seam, creating a pocket. You're sewing through very thin layers, so you may need to adjust your tension and lengthen your stitches a bit. Fill the pocket with scraps. Do your best to push the fabric down into the corners and edges. The Ultra Solvi Stabilizer is fairly thick, so you don't need to worry about it ripping. Sew the top of the pocket shut with a quarter inch seam. Now we'll top stitch a design across the entire top of the pocket. If you have a free motion quilting foot, that will make this step go faster. If you'd like to learn more about that, I have a tutorial with instructions on free motion quilting. However, you can also do this with a standard foot, which is what I'm using right now. I'm doing wavy lines, but you can do straight lines, or a grid pattern, or anything else you'd like. The trick is to keep your rows close together so the fabric scraps will be held securely. The pocket method is nice for making quilt squares because it leaves a border for a seam allowance. The downside is that depending on the size of your squares, it can leave a lot of excess Solvi scraps. So let's talk about a second method. Ultra Solvi is unique because it becomes sticky when wet and can be used like an adhesive to hold our fabrics together. Place your fabric scraps on top of your backing fabric. This method gives you a little more control over placement, which is nice. Take a piece of Solvi or several Solvi scraps and dip them in water. Place immediately on top of the fabric and gently press down with your finger to adhere. We have to let the Solvi dry completely until it's no longer tacky. If you're in a hurry, you can use a blow dryer to speed up the process. Top stitch the layers together as shown previously. You can also quilt the new textile as you go. I used the adhesive method to create my top fabric, then placed it face down. Add a piece of batting in the middle, and a backing fabric face up on top of the stack. Quilt together with a design. I just did straight lines for this one. Trim the edges if necessary. After rinsing out the Solvi, you can then bind the edges with bias tape or ribbon to create a mug rug, placemat, or wall hanging. Finally, you can also make a new textile with no backing at all. Layer two pieces of Solvi together and sew on three sides as we did with the pocket method. Stuff the pocket with scraps. You can also get creative with these, adding strands of fibers or ribbons to make some really interesting textures.
To remove the Solvi film, soak in warm water for 15 minutes. Then rub gently to remove the residue. You can now place your item in the dryer. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Why don't I try this at home? Try this at home. I hope you had fun learning to create beautiful, unique textiles. For written instructions, please visit my website at madebymarzipan.com. Try this at home.